So you're thinking about Prosper, Texas, but you're also thinking, man, it's really far up there when you look at it on the map compared to Dallas. Well, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Or is it just all in perspective? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna walk you around on the Google map, show you everything you need to know about Prosper, and we're gonna get after it right now. <laughs> If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas, and the surrounding areas like Prosper, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi. You know, the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as we mentioned, we're going to jump into my computer. I'm going to show you around on the map and show you everything you need to know about Prosper because I think the biggest misconception is that it's really far up there. And if you're looking at it on the map compared to Dallas, it is really far up there. But hey, all right, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, if you're gonna be commuting to downtown Dallas, maybe Prosper is not so good. But if you're going to be working in Plano or Frisco, then maybe not so bad. So let's just jump in my computer, let's take a look and uh, let's get after it. All right, welcome to my computer. And here we are, let's take a look at Prosper and I'll just, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. You'll see it's highlighted right up here get my fancy drawing tool ready to go. And let's see, so we got Prosper right up here. Nice, almost a rectangle shaped. And you see downtown Dallas all the way down here. So actually we've got another video on the pros and cons of living in Prosper. We talk about this, if you're going to be commuting to downtown Dallas, this could be a, a pretty big negative because this is going to be about 50, minutes. And I would say that's probably about 50 minutes, give or take, uh, without traffic or weather or anything else like that straight shot down the tollway. So that could be a negative. If you're going to be commuting into downtown Dallas on a consistent basis, I would say prosper is probably not the best option. I know there's a lot of people that do it, but at the same time, that's just a long drive. Now, if you love audiobooks and you or you love listening to the radio or a podcast or whatever it is you love, and that's 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 your sometimes I have people that say that's their quiet time. I know, uh, you know, sometimes that's just the only quiet time you get, depending on what's going on in, in at home. So, uh, you know, if you like that long commute, then there you go. But uh, so with traffic or weather conditions or something like that, that could extend that as well. But also, this is the Dallas North Tollway, so you're going to have tolls, you know, every single day coming. Uh, from your house and you're going to work and, and coming back. So, it, which is going to the, be the main area. You could come over to I-75. This is no tolls to get to downtown Dallas, but again, you're gonna come all the way over here and hit that road. So, you know, either way, if you wanna kind of save some money on tolls, unless your company's paying for that, you could come over there depending on where you live in a Prosper, but you'll see, uh, let's see, we've got uh, Frisco right here. It's kind of covered up by all my hearts, but it says Frisco right there. So this is mainly Frisco right here. And of course it borders Prosper. So we talk about that being a pro of, of Prosper is that, you know, actually one of the cons is that it's underdeveloped, a lot of new construction going on. Now there's a lot of new things going on in Prosper, but also still a lot to that needs to be done. But because you're right there, uh, right next door to Frisco, then you have everything you need in Frisco. You've got the colony right here. You've got Little Elm right here. There's a great park over here in Little Elm. So if you want to come to the lake, uh, it's got a cool beach side, uh, you know, beach side, boat launch, uh, everything you want to do on Lake Louisville, that would probably be the easiest shot is to get over to, to Little Elm right there. You've got McKinney next door as well. Uh, so I love their historic district, which is just right over here. So that's easy access. But then of course you got Frisco, everything you need inside of Frisco. So you're not lacking anything, just a hop, skip and a jump away to get over here to Frisco. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now we talk about, again, it's a, it's a con if you're commuting to downtown Dallas. Now, if you're not, if you're going to be working in a Frisco or even Plano, because we know here's Plano right here, is we've got, um, We've got Plano all through here. That wasn't a very good uh, drawing. So 
we've got Plano all through here. Actually, Plano comes over here a little bit more as well. So you got Plano and then you got Frisco. So there's a lot of jobs happening right in here. This is where a lot of the tech centers are coming in. Uh, this is one of the major corridors in Plano right there where everything is happening. And so, you know, if you're going to be commuting to Frisco or Plano, then then Prosper is a great option for you. And here's the thing is that people that live in Frisco and or Prosper mostly stay in Frisco and Proper. So they're not really going to be out venturing around and uh, going to downtown Dallas often. Now, you, now if you want to go down there for a full day or a weekend, uh, then, then, you know, hey, it's not a not that long of a shot to get to downtown Dallas and traffic is pretty light on the weekends here in Dallas. That's what I love about it. Um, I mentioned a couple other videos, you know, I've lived in Chicago, I've lived in New York and I remember traffic was bad all the time, no matter which direction I was going. Either way, it was not ideal. So here on the weekend, traffic is pretty light. So if getting down the tollway or even down 75, if you want to go to downtown Dallas, you know, in the morning, come back in the evening, it's going to be pretty uh, easy to get down there, but you'll see here in prosper, uh, we highlighted, you know, we highlighted some of the top neighborhoods. That's actually another video. We have uh, some of the top neighborhoods in prosper. So we talk about those, but mainly right here, right off of Preston road, you're going to have a major, uh, commercial. This is where they're building up a lot. You'll see this yellow section is pretty much all built up. And then right over here is the next section right to the left on the other side is where they're building next. Here's the tollway. I've talked about this before. They're extending it now. So this is all under construction. Uh, this is going to be going up to Salina. So as they as they uh, build this up going to Salina, you can kind of see where they're going up there. It should end right at Salina for now. Of course, it'll probably go past that as well. We'll see. Uh, Mary Lee will probably be the next spot that they'll start building in. But anyways, you'll see here. Uh, once this finishes out, then this is going to absolutely explode prosper. So now is the time if you're thinking about buying, this is a great opportunity to get in as well, because anytime that you get in early in new construction communities or a town like prosper, then you're likely to enjoy some really good appreciation as everything starts to build out and develop. So you can see this is where you have a lot of your main commercial right down here. You got your Walmart super center. Uh, you can see here you've got Texas Roadhouse, Whataburger, Olive Garden, Hibachi, uh, the Chinese neighbor. You've got Panera Bread. You've got Smash Burger, Small Cakes, Chick Fil A, Chili's, Tiff's Treats. All right, you've got DSW, Bed Bath and Beyond. So you see, you kind of got a major intersection or section of commercial concentration of pretty much everything you need right here. There's another section right up here. Uh, let's see, you got the CVS, you've got, uh, let's see, Sonic, Ernesto's. And we talk about that being a con of Prosper in our other video as well is that, you know, a lot of fast food you can see here, a lot of fast food. So uh, fine dining, you could say, or steak houses or things like that. Not a lot has gone in here just yet. You would definitely want to venture down to Frisco to do that. Um, this is where they have they're developing the major PGA uh, area right now, the PGA headquarters and everything going on there. So that's what they are doing in that section uh, right here. And then also Rock Hill High School, which is the, the new high school they just built for Prosper is gonna be over here as well. And uh, which is really nice. That was like a hundred million dollar development. I mean, huge, it's uh, 40 something, no 90 acres uh, for that high school. I mean, it's absolutely massive. So. Uh, really, really nice. And so you can kind of see here, uh, let's see, we've got Winsong Ranch right over here. We talk about that. If I can get my Zoom tool to work, Winsong Ranch, you know, they've got that whole lagoon, the Crystal Lagoon, everything um, happening right there. I mean, homes are hard to come by in in Winsong Ranch right now, but if that's, that's definitely probably the most popular neighborhood in Prosper. Uh, it shows like it's outside of the Prosper area, but it's it's in Prosper there. But you'll see here we we uh, we hearted uh, several of the great neighborhoods around Prosper. You got Star Trail, Saddle Creek, Falls of Prosper, uh, Parkside. You've got Lakes of La Cima. So you can see pretty much everything is in the general vicinity 
with Prosper. All in this area, you got Gentle Creek Golf Club right here. You got Frontier Park over by the main uh, Prosper High School as well. But again, it's small enough right now. Again, it's that small time, small town feel. You got about 27,000 people in Prosper right now. This is going to be your main co commercial hub. Uh, this is going to be your secondary commercial hub right here. You got So Preston Road is the most developed going through Prosper. And Preston Road actually is like the road uh, where everything is happening all the way to downtown Dallas. So if you want to, uh, this would be Preston Road right here. Runs pretty much parallel to the tollway. And it runs all the way, it turns into Oaklawn Avenue right down here in Uptown in the Oaklawn area. But it starts, uh, it starts in Highland Park, uh, University Park, runs through, Ad I mean, all of this. It is one of the, anything along Preston Road is going to be nice. Commercial, homes, apartments, everything along Preston Road is going to be pretty nice. So that is that is a, a major road. It's um, uh, also Road 289. So anything along there, they actually call that between Preston and the Tollway, kind of the golden corridor, because that is going to be, your priciest of real estate regardless, um, anywhere in between Preston Road and the tollway all the way up. And that's consistent from all the way from Prosper all the way down. And you'll see here Prosper, that um, this was the main road through Prosper at the time. That's why it's most of the commercials developed along there. But you'll see here, most of the communities we, um, we liked uh, that were in Prosper in our other video, the top neighborhoods of Prosper then it, pretty much all within 10 minutes of each other. I mean, there's not much, you know, it's pretty easy to get around Prosper. You're still going to find a lot of fields out here, uh, you know, driving around empty fields, especially along, I think this road, yeah, this road, Prosper Trail. You're going to see a lot of empty space. And that's the other thing about Prosper. It still has that small town feel. You've got a historic district. It's really, really small. You can see that on our full vlog tour of, of uh, Prosper. So, just something to keep in mind as well. But otherwise, it's a great area. It's definitely growing and expanding and exploding right now. So now is a good time, especially with the record low interest rates to get in to find something, a lot of new construction here. But again, inventory is very low here. So you gotta have the right team in place. And if you've been struggling or missing out on offers or they haven't been accepted or you feel like, um, you just need a little extra help, then definitely give us a call. We got your back. I mean, I think we are definitely the team to help you out to do that. We've been very successful uh, helping out people that uh, that have really struggled trying to find a home in this market. It, it is a little crazy to navigate, but hey, we're on top of it. And so we're happy to help in any way possible or if you just have questions as well. But otherwise, you know, this pretty much wraps up Prosper. I would say there's uh, that, you know, there are other, these new construction, I mean, Toll Brothers, that, that, that community is sold out and there's a waiting list as well. So again, it's just one of those opportunities where once we understand what fits your needs, uh, then we're going to dig in and, and we'll find a home that will work for you. So we're, we're not worried about that at all. And uh, we will help you do just that and get your family here, especially if you're coming from out of state. We understand uh, what it's like to, to move from out of state. I've done it several times myself. Always came back to Texas, but hey, no problem. By the way, check out our description. We've got a lot of helpful links for you down there below. Utility concierge, mortgage protection. We're going to be adding some new links very soon that I can't wait to share with you some, some cool partnerships that will really help you out in your move as well. So we're looking forward to that. And again, if you uh, are moving in nine days or 90 days, just feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call all in the description below as well. And until next time, well, hope to see you around town.